Well, tomorrow it is. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it is Groundhog Day trivia I have on the globe. The madness Kahoot with Groundhog Day. Music. Kahoot music. <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, if we're doing trivia, you have to have Kahoot music. What did you say? The madness, William. Oh, Whoa. what? And then the beat drops. Yeah, it's a bit of a trap <laughs> remix. I mean, uh, it has to be. No, I don't. I don't follow Groundhog Day. <laughs> ah. Okay, well, I was... Okay, so I made my prediction earlier. I was like, Nathan's going to probably be the favorite one to win, you know. Oh, but I think I said that pick. William might, you know, sneak up on Nathan because of the competitive nature within. This is ridiculous. <laughs> You've already made Nathan where, lose this before it started. Where are these draft picks coming from, Kitty? These like, questions? Yeah, well, no, like, Multiple how did you... How did trivia. You, I know, but, like, how did you pick me over William? Like, what was your betting Well, process? I can't I can't really say my reasoning no, why. Junior's draft board. It's just, like, your... <laughs> What's it? Your my childhood. Or, my, my aura. Yeah. Yes. Well, just know, Nathan has already lost. Why? Because <sighs> you've lit a fire inside of me, Katie. I well, see. And that's I'm what I was talking about. Very seriously. Okay, so we got um, basically ten questions. Ten of them. Oh you gotta keep gosh. track of how many points you have. What? And okay, okay, it's yeah. basically the first person to respond, but you guys both get a chance to. You know. How are we buzzing in? You can. You can. Wait. We should like. Or... We could buzz in like this. Oh, like turn off your mic? And turn I'll just on your mic. Turn off. Okay. Okay. So I'll turn off yeah, your so mic. Every, every question we stop. Okay. Every okay. Question we turn off our mics and then we. Oh, wait. I cut out. Yes. Yeah. So you're going to turn off your mic and okay. then. Okay. We got it oh. under control. All right. You ready for this? Here we go. Groundhog's Day trivia. If the groundhog sees his shadow tomorrow on February 2nd, what does this portend? Three marks you winner. Hmm. How many weeks? Three. That's, um, we're gonna... More spring. You guys are both wrong. It was three weeks of winter. It was, that's what It was Will six said. weeks. Six weeks, sorry. Oh, you said three. I about came unglued. <laughs> <laughs> like, you confused me because he said three, but it was six. Like, is that a half point? That's a half point. Nathan that's a half point. spring. Yeah, you said spring. <laughs> that's a half point well, for William. you would rather show... That well, I know, wrong, because so. you said three weeks, and I got confused. It's six weeks. Okay. okay. Six right, more weeks. Half a point. Half a point, indeed. Right, okay. Right, here we go. Here we go. What does Puxitani film? Where, sorry, where does Puxitani Phil make his yearly prediction? Pennsylvania. Yeah. Pennsylvania. Indeed. Hometown, baby. <laughs> yes, that's a one to, point. One to half. Yes. <laughs> like, he's got to have that half point in there. That's so funny. Okay. All right, continuing on. All right. True or false? The movie Groundhog Day was filmed in Pennsylvania. True. False. What was that? True. Hold on here. He didn't. And I said uh, false. You did say one false at the one. same time. So, okay. One and a half to one. Sorry. It was actually filmed in Illinois. Fun fact. I, what? Yep. It was, wait, never mind. Woodstock, Illinois, to be exact. True or false? Bill Murray, the star of the movie Groundhog Day, has been named an honorary grand marshal for the Groundhog Day celebrations in Pennsylvania. True. That is True. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Wait, he took the lead by half a point. Two to one and a half. Okay, here we go. Where are we at here? We are at <laughs> question five. True or false? Puxatawney Phil has appeared as a guest on the Oprah Winfrey show. True. True, True indeed. You guys both got it. All right. We'll just, yeah, okay. Just, you know, I got I to get the ding for you too. Okay. So would it? You guys both get a point for that. Okay. Three and a half to two and a half. Yes. Wait, no, no, no. Four, four to three, three and a half. <laughs> no, three to two and a half. Okay. Okay, here we go. Either way, I'm down half. Groundhog Day trivia question six. Who was the first American president to meet Puxatawney Phil? Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. I'm um, sorry, but... um. Abraham Lincoln. Both are incorrect. Now, I'll give you a hint, okay? If you can get it right after this, I'll this still give you the point. This will be a half point here. This will be a half point. I needed to even it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Don't a half point. Don't give it to him. It was back in 1986. Phil went to D.C. So, if you know the president in 86, Pucks Tony Phil... Ronald Reagan? You are correct, Nathan. Right, so now it's a, a one-point lead. That makes me feel better about myself. Okay, sounds good. Three and a half to two and a half. Yes. <laughs> Keeping it going here. All right. On occasion... Phil has been known to skirt federal law. What did he threaten if he wasn't allowed to drink during prohibition? That he wouldn't come out of his hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, technically not the answer I was looking for. 
Sorry. Could you repeat the question? Is that yes? Yeah, that I'll repeat the question again. There, right? Nathan's out here, so turn your mic off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On occasion, Phil Puxatani Phil, the groundhog, uh-huh. you know, has been known to skirt federal law. What did he threaten if he wasn't allowed a drink during prohibition? He threatened to retire. <laughs> no. That's not it. Run an even more winter. What? 60 weeks to be exact. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Does when can groundhogs even drink? Hello? And this is Also, I was I'm, thinking like chocolate milk was supposed to be the answer to that the first time around. I thought she said, what did he threaten? What did he want oh, to drink? What did he want to yeah. drink? What did he threaten oh, to drink? Oh, so I, I had drink to... this chocolate milk. Okay, valid. I understand. Rereading. Three and a half to four and a half. Or three and a half to two and a half. Yes. Okay, so true or false? Puxatani Phil's prediction has been broadcasted on the Jumbotron in Times Square. True. That is a big ding. Ah. <laughs> there oh, we go. We're tied now. How many <laughs> questions left? Please have one. There is two left. Okay, well, not as crazy as it could okay. be. Three and a half to three and a half. Okay. What is another name for groundhogs? Uh, mm. <laughs> go first. <laughs> Rodent. What was is it? it a rodent? <laughs> what is it like? Something like Canuck or something? It's not a rodent. Mm, you're close, Nathan. A canook. A can. It's close. I mean, uh, kind of. You got the letters uh, in there, but that's not the what? word. A car- uh, d- 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 Think of like um, tongue twisters. Super califragilistic. Oh, no, oh, no, like a woodchuck. A woodchuck Ooh, is baby. right. That's half a give, point. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it to me. Give me a point. <laughs> Four to three and a half. We okay, this is the to last go. question. <laughs> Should we double the points for this one just so William has a chance? Well, no, it, I if, win. If he wins. You'll win? I win. If I get a point. Oh, you win. You win. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. The highest recorded number of visitors to Gobbler's Knob, which is the place in Pennsylvania. Cobble. It's Gobbler's. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse What's me. What's the question? Okay. That's like sassing. Um, sorry, sorry, minus, sorry. B- minus half. Minus okay. half. No, minus half. No, 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 no. <laughs> Square. <laughs> Okay, the highest of recorded number of visitors to Gobbler's Knob in Pennsylvania to celebrate Groundhog Day was as many as 35,000 visitors in one year. How many people will be in person to celebrate Groundhog's Day this year? Seven. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> 1,000. <laughs> well, well, I could give it to the person that is closest. What? <laughs> no. 1,000. <000. laughs> It's got to be closer to seven than a thousand. Okay, let me read it again. Think about this, okay? Okay, this is the last question of the Groundhog's Day trivia. Oh, Woodchuck? The highest recorded number of visitors to Gobbler's Knob to celebrate Groundhog Day 35,000. was 35,000 visitors in a year. How many people will be in person to celebrate Groundhog's Day this year? None, because of the coronavirus. I'm going to still stick with seven. It's none because of the coronavirus. <laughs> Boom. I, I so win. I, what, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to watch this broadcast tomorrow, and there will be at least seven people there. It's and I will put thousands of dollars on that right now. <laughs> so we will be back next Monday to really- To watch it, Troyer. though. Yeah. To watch it. To celebrate. Yeah. In there person. Will, there will no. Yeah. There. there will be news crews. Okay, but they're not, like, celebrating. They're broadcasting. They're celebrating. In spirit. Oh, my. I win. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Sore loser.